Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to enable AMD ZFSR 3 frame generation tech for absolutely free in a Blade Tale Requiem, Spider-Man, Miles Morales and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I will be running these games on my ROG LR. I have to set for an extreme variant of this device. We will be using a program called DLSS Enabler. We will be using its version 800 beta 15 bit. You can download it from GitHub's website. I will give its link in the description. Just click on the blue link here, .exe file. I'll kick things off with a Plague Tale Requiem. We'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. First, I'll show you the directory where you need to install DLSS Enabler. Just click on the three dots right below the game's box art. Click on Manage, click on Files, then click on Browse. Game size is around 50 GB. Games Install folder, open it. Open Content folder. Yeah, this is the directory where you need to install DLSS Enabler. Copy it. There's the game's exe file, apt2, winstore, 64.submission now just run the exe file corresponding to dlss enabler setup here's the build double click click on i accept next next paste the games directory here next first option check install dlss enabler dll module as a version dot dll file check this box enable support for amd and intel gpus rog ally has an amd based gpu it's radian 780m Octascaler version 0.6 Next Install This error will pop up DLSS file is invalid Click on OK Ignore it Due to this reason The game's HUD elements will flicker But the good thing is In this game the HUD elements are not displayed for the most part If you disable the subtitles Flickering should not be an issue Uncheck this box Click on Finish Go back to the games directory where you install DLSS enabler Now you will see many new files here we are ready to run the game. Don't even need to execute the disable NVIDIA signature checks dot registry file. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 338. I have installed AMD's technical preview GPU driver adrenaline edition 24.5.1 using the 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via 2.4 GHz band wireless mode. Run the game using this exe file. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Adrenaline settings. Now you need to make sure that Radian anti lag setting is disabled. Otherwise, the game will stutter a lot with the mod enabled. FreeSync and VSync enabled. That's it. In game settings, full screen display mode. In game basing disabled 720p resolution, maximum frame rate unlimited. We have access to DLSS using its quality preset. This is basically XCSS version 1.3 upscaler, frame generation enabled, reflex enabled by default. Using the low settings, NPC refresh rate set to normal. Motion blur disabled, ray tracing disabled, that's it. By the settings, phase emission here go, and you can see the subtitles are flickering. This is expected. No game hurt elements are being displayed, so you can just disable the subtitles. Just do that quickly. Settings language, display subtitles, no. Let's play the game. I'll engage in combat. Don't care about the stealth. Took out this guy. Looking for the archer. Game is running very smoothly. Check out the input response. Yeah, FPS is over 100. This is amazing. Yeah, there's the archer. Dead. No stuttering at all. Okay, this guy is wearing a helmet. My sling will not work. Run past him. I'll stab this guy. This guy is also wearing a helmet. Ah, we out. Made it. I load another sequence. Beautiful scenery. 
even here we are getting around 120 fps this is just insane some rats will be chasing me now skip the cutscene yeah this is the sequence it's a bit dark down here need to run Hundred FPS. This game does not consume a lot of VRAM. Even less than three GB. Rats. Need to use a light source. It will repel the rats, as you can see. Need to light up a brazier. There it is. Work. Excellent experience in this game. FPS. It is in a range of 100 to 120. It is the game running within the low preset 720p resolution, frame generation enabled. Some flickering is present. And just disable the subtitles and you'll be good. Now I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll be running Spider Man Miles Morales for this game. I'll just set the EMA buffer size to 6 GB. It's the Epic Games version of Miles Morales. First, I'll show you the games directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Just click on the three dots below the games box art and click on Manage. Click on the folder icon here. This is the directory. Copy it. Run the exe file corresponding to DLSS enabler setup. I accept. Next. Next. Paste the directory here. Next. First option check install DLSS enabler DLL module as a version dot DLL file. Check this box. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Optiscaler version 0.6. Next, install. Process complete. Finish. Go back to the games directory. We are ready to run the game. Miles Morales exe file. Executed. This message will pop up. No install graphics card has been detected. Click on OK. Games launcher. Click on settings. Display mode set to full screen 720p resolution. Upscale method DLSS. You think it's quality preset? It's actually XCSS. Reflex enable. Frame generation disable for the time being. Vsync off. I'm using the medium preset. Motion blur strength and film gain strength set to nil. That's it. Run the game. Outdated GPU driver message. Ignore it. Click on OK. Adrenaline settings. Vsync and Vsync enable. Radian anti lag setting enable. I have tested this game before using Luke FC's FSR3 frame generation mod. I'll keep the gameplay very short. Okay, this is the game running without frame generation. Here, FPS is within a range of 48 to 60. Yes, miles. Game runs very nicely on Rogue Ally, even without using any frame generation technique. I'm just swinging around. Now I'll enable frame generation. Can be done on the fly. Go to display and graphics. DLSS frame generation enabled. Apply the setting. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 120. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Controls are very responsive. That sluggishness is gone now when I move the camera in complete circle. Games hard elements are not flickering, that's really good to see. Perfect beg your pardon, perfect implementation of frame generation in this game. Animation looks so smooth and miles is swinging around VRAM usage is around 5 GB GP load is around 80 
six percent amazing experience now I'll be testing the next game Ratchet and Clank this game consumes a lot of VRAM I'll just set UMA buffer size to 7 GB we'll be running the steam version of the game first I'll show you the games directory where you need to install the LSS enabler select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files this is the directory you need to install DLSS enabler copy the directory from here games exe file run DLSS enablers setup file already know the process I accept next next paste the directory here next first option check version.dll file enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs check OptiScaler version 0.6 next install process complete uncheck this box finish move back to the game directory where you install DLSS enabler new files should be present we are ready to run the game unfortunately even in this game the game's hard elements flicker make sure a third party overlay like afterburner is not running in the background it can crash the game this message will pop up no install graphics card detected ignore it game settings 720p resolution full screen mode upscale method DLSS which is basically XCSS using its quality preset frame generation disabled for the time being facing disabled using the low preset motion blur strength and frame gain strength set to nil Launch the game adrenaline setting freezing and vsync enable anti lag setting enabled as well using adrenaline's overlay to show you the performance metrics there's Richard here we are getting around 50 fps you can see VRAM usage almost 7 GB this is just insane decent performance even without using any frame generation technique I'm just using XCSS don't remember the controls now more boons now I'll just enable frame generation 50 to 60 FPS without it enable it, apply back to the game the FPS increased to around 100 animation is looking so smooth unfortunately the game's hard elements are flickering as you can see and I move the camera around so this problem is still present in this game it does support DLSS frame generation but whenever we use any FSRI frame generation mod the interface flickers FPS mostly stays around 100 good experience on LA. that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day